We have this example of how we want mode to behave with these new forms. If we create a box with 0, change it to 10, and unbox B, clearly we should get a 10 back as a result. Of course, it won't actually be just 10, it'll be int V of 10, because when we interpret, we get capital V values back. What if our whole program, though, is just box of 0? What should we get back? It should not be just 0, because the result isn't 0. It should be a box that contains 0. So that means we need a new way, a new kind of value that represents a box containing a zero. And of course, zero is a capital V value here. That's an end V on the inside. But how should we represent these boxes and in a way that we can change the value that's inside the box? Well, we can use what Splate gives us for being able to change the value inside of an object. We can use a Splate box to implement a Mo box. So we change our value data type, which already had int v and close v, to have a box v. And inside of a box v, we put a splate box. And inside of that splate box, we put a value so that we can uh, change the value that's inside the box. If we do that, then our interpreter will look like this. So when we implement box e, we will interpret the expression for the value to put inside the box. So this is a capital V value from interp. We put that inside a splate box. And then, just like when we have an integer in splate, we wrap it with int v to get a mo value. We have a splate box, we wrap it in box v to get a mo box. If we do things that way, then when we do unbox e a, we have an expression a to interpret. Hopefully, this a gives us back a box there. And uh, that means we can do a match to see if we get a box v or something else. If we get something else, we just complain. But if we get a box V, that means we have a splate box B, and we can look inside that splate box to see the current value of our Mo box. So the implementation of unbox E will ultimately use splate's unbox. Set box E is similar. We got a box and a value expression. We interpret the box expression. Hopefully we get a box object back. That is a box V at the Mo level. Uh, we also interpret that new value expression and we get any sort of value. And what we want to do is take that value and put it inside the mo box v, which is represented by this splate box little b. So we have a splate set box there to implement the mo set box. And then because I don't want to add values to mo, I'll just return the new value that we put inside of step box instead of returning void. Finally, um, begin. Begin uh, just evaluates the left expression, ignores its result, and returns the, the value of the right expression. Begin exists so that we do these two interprets in sequence. And we implement that just by doing these two interprets in sequence. So there you have it. That's the whole implementation of interp for boxes in Mo using boxes in splate. But this doesn't really explain anything about boxes. Our goal here was not just to add more things to Mo that uh, copy the things that are in splate, but we wanted to understand more about how boxes can work. So as a next step, we're going to implement boxes ourselves without relying on Schlitz boxes.